Hello YouTube, Rootagothaj6 back once again, and I'm preparing for the semi-final episode of this Let's Play here. Um, so I have just a couple of quick tasks to complete before... before I head into a stronghold. And clear the stronghold in preparation to heading to the end and completing this game, or at least the vanilla version of it. Um, there's a lot that has to get done. As this gathering pumpkins here is only the first, the only the tip of the iceberg. Got another silk touch pickaxe here. I'm going to head back to the winter wonderland and gather a few supplies there. But besides that, soon enough we'll be on our way. So, with that in mind, stay tuned. And any second here, we'll be breaking into the storm. And second stop takes us back to the winter wonderland, like I said. We just have to harvest some ice blocks from safe areas. And snow blocks from others. And third stop, the third hangar, the uh, Rebellion's hangar. This is far, far, far to the north. And, um, really convenient because I need to head back to Galactic Spire, and this will provide a way to get there which is incredibly nice. So, we'll just take this, we'll just take this road like always. And that'll get us back. You know, it's kind of insane. The uh, train station, not which is well south of here, so even, this is even more far, but just the train station on the border of the winter biome is 2,000 blocks north of clandestine station of 00. zero. That's 2,000 blocks I had to travel to find the snow. And Galactic Spire is another 1,000 south, so this is going to be a bit of a ride for me. All right, here we are. Uh, stop four. So do give me just a moment to uh, get back up into the main rooms here. If I can do it. There we go. <laughs> Galactic Spire. Wonderful as ever. Actually, so the only point of this is I just want to enchant. Come back here. The axe, which is not currently in my inventory. Okay, so I need to go back and I might as well fight up to level 30 before I do that. We'll consider that stop four, enchanting the axe. And the last stop, the potion rooms of Grace Manor for brewing. Don't worry, I have the system quite, quite understood now. There's no need, I won't, I've got nothing more than I need, and it actually does, wasn't even that much work to figure out, because like I said, I just understand it now. It's not difficult, you just have to experience it firsthand. So, first of all, we'll start by making these into awkward potions, of course. Right, basic ingredient there. Then we'll want some of them to become potions of swiftness. Speed, of course. And we'll use redstone to extend the duration of these swiftness as long as possible. Next, we'll want potions of strength. Increase our power in the upcoming fights. And like with the potions of swiftness, we want these to last as long as possible. Last, we'll want healing potions. And since we can't increase the duration of healing potions because they're a one, an instant duration thing, we'll want to increase their power with glowstone dust.
All right, here we go. In case anyone's forgotten, this is this is it. This is the station that's by the stronghold. Right behind it somewhere, there should be a path of torches that leads us straight back to our destination. Yep. I do not lie. Well, I was not lying here, rather. <laughs> and we'll follow these torches. And there's the cobblestone stronghold indicator, whatever you would call it. And shortly behind that, the entrance to the stronghold. Let's do this. Hmm, that's interesting. I've been so far away from this area the whole time that they, the items I couldn't collect before didn't even go away. So first things first, this seems to be our uh, safe room. So I'm going to gently set down some items. Gently set this down, gently set that down, gently set the stake down. And first, make a double chest. Actually, I don't need to set anything down. We'll mine just four pieces of stuff. Well, we'll try to. Oh, shoot! I didn't bring ladders with me. I have a stack of like 50 ladders now and I didn't bring it. Hold on. <laughs> well, I got them. For those few of you that, uh, that understand this, this, I think I just now understand Flower Child's argument for why the wrench shouldn't be an item. <laughs> he says it, uh, it uh, takes away from immersion because when you have to run back to your base, which is far away from wherever you actually are, just to get the wrench to move like one piston. Huh. I like wrenches, but that argument makes a lot more sense now. Anyway, it's just about night, so we can do the first important task and talk about how this stronghold expedition is going to work. So let's get down. Going down the hole. Down, down, down. Alright. So, what I'm doing right here is I'm storing the items that are reserved for the end that I don't need for the Stronghold Expedition. Um, I think that's about all of them. And the point of that... is so I can come back once I've found the room and explored to my heart's desire and grab what I really need, putting away what I've earned at the same time. What I've found, rather, not necessarily earned. Dig out a little bit of more of a room here. Doesn't have to be too much. There we are. Now... Why so many beds, Zutak? Well, beds are a dangerous weapon, don't you know? They're game changers. sleep through the night. Oh, that was freaky. Did anyone else see the skeleton just... yeah. It's kind of watching me all chill. While I go to sleep. Confident that I can't hit him. Which might be accurate. Alright. Stronghold Ho.
Hmm, I wonder how quickly I'm gonna get lost in here. Okay, this is a dead end. That's easy. Grab, grab a couple of bricky blocks. And keep going. Do I hear water? Is this a well? Another dead end room. Grab some more blocks. Whoa, whoa, okay, not a dead end room. Right, totally forgot about considering silverfish. Jeez. That was like frightening. I had no idea you could do that. They could just pop out like that. Doesn't look like you can silk touch grab them though. Which is uh, kind of a pity. I wonder what the odds are of finding a silverfish block. Well, I guess... I guess I'll kind of come to be familiar with it over time. Moving on. Okay, we came through here. We didn't look at this room yet. So that's going down, all right. Iron bars. Jail cell. Whoa, sweet! Emerald ore, again. Just an emerald ore block. And that's outside of the range of the stronghold. Alright. And this is heading another level down, but let's explore some of the jail first. Come on, you don't scare me. Reset that light, which should have been giving me more light anyway. Again? Jeez. At least I can one-shot them with the sword. And here, it looks like we intercepted with the mine shaft again. Gather some rails. Or some bars. Really don't understand what's up with the torches not giving off proper light here. But I can reset them. And what do we have in here? Nothing, because we intercept. Alright. Moving on. Here's a dead end. There's down a level. And our first chest. Apple and trousers. Alright. And there's more to see. Yeah, here's a jail. Lots of bars. <laughs> Lucky that time. Dead end. And out of the stronghold. Keep moving on. dead end. Oh good, the library. Now it was really important that I find this because I'm about to just go to town on the bookshelves. Because one of those things you want to do in the Ender Dragon fight is, of course, 
use the enchantments, use the levels that he'll give you wisely. And the best way I can think to use them is to set up an enchanting room in the end. But Utak, you forgot the enchantment table. Yes, I'm just realizing that too. Be quiet. Like I said, I'll go back before we actually fight the dragon. Also, the other thing is, in Better Than Wolves, there's a new, uh, well, a semi-new item that's come out, the Infernal Enchanter, and it works a lot like an enchantment table, but you need an insane amount of bookshelves. You need, like, a regular library, so I'd probably have to mine a couple rooms like this to get to get it working up properly. Alright, that took care of this. Let's see, we've got almost four full stacks of bookshelves, which will be plenty enough for the end, at least. So I figure I'll torch this room, since I really kind of did a number on it already. And it's a dead end. Found a couple of chests, books, paper, compass, Fairly useful stuff, especially for a map-making guy like myself. So yeah, good haul. I like that. And onward we go in search of the Ender Portal. Come this way? Not exactly, but I can see how it worked. All right. Maybe we did come exactly this way. Alright, back up and around. Yeah. So we're just backtracking now. Oh, come on. There we are, skeleton. Skeleton in a chest tells me this way hasn't been explored yet. Oh, but what's up here real quick? Okay, doors and ladders. Kind of problems today. Just a central room area? It's in this chest. Red. Okay. Red's pretty good. And actually, I'll collect these ladders now that I'm thinking about it. So, next room. Bears on me. Whoa, gosh, these things scare the mess out of me. Huh. Okay, this is leading to the mine shaft. I don't need to go that way. Whereas down here looks to be more stronghold things, yes. And another dead end. That must be the door the zombies were trying to break down though. And another one. And let's head this way. Hey, look, there's the end portal room, it looks like. Yeah. Get to jump on this one. Okay, I was really hoping for some Eyes of Ender at some point. And it's also probably about time for a supply run back to the entrance. Test and see if I can actually find my way. Okay, back up the stairs. 
cyclic sport here. So this is like the central hub room right here. Oh look, another chest. Same kinds of items. Don't need the iron. But lots of ladders. Okay. There's a torch down there. And here is the central room. Okay, you know, it's really a pity that we have the pig spawner like that. It takes away from the experience completely to see, oh look, there's a bug and all that. Hey, you. No, done. Now I brought Splash Potions of Harming just for the silverfish here because I assumed I'd be like absolutely swarmed. Apparently that's not the case. Will this be enough to take care of them? Alright. Let's see, how many more eyes am I going to need to collect? Four. Four is not too bad. In fact, I might even have that many ender pearls left still. Whoa! Hold up there. Gallant. Right. For those of you watching later, don't forget, the only reason it's a silver, it looks like a pig spawner is just because this is, after all, just one more snapshot for 1.3, and bugs are bugs. You know, I don't think silverfish are stopped by torches, so this might be kind of dangerous. Yeah, it looks like I'm right. However, there's not too many of them. As I said, I brought those splash potions just for them, and they didn't actually turn out all that dangerous. day for killing things, huh? Successful at that. Alright. So there's our stronghold. I'm going to wait until the release candidate for 1.3 comes out before I tackle the Ender Dragon. But honestly, everything's in place. I have my area. I'm camped out. I have all the supplies that I need. The only thing left to do is actually take the guy down. So, let's get rid of what we don't need. Now, see how much of this, of the supplies that I do want, I can get. And I'll organize it later, but for now, looks like we're doing well. Got everything I need right here, just have to go back for the enchanting table. That's it, friends. Join me next time as we take down the dragon and finish up this game. Look at him. Just a, just a rope.